Okay, so this one says the concentration of medication injected into the bloodstream drops at a rate proportional to the existing concentration. So even if we didn't know anything else at the question, we should be able to start here. Can somebody, I don't want to use C for concentration because we've been using that for our constant. Can somebody give me a letter they want to use for con to represent concentration? Q? Q? <laughs> okay. So the change in that concentration is going to be equal to the current amount times some proportional constant. Okay. So what that means to us then is if we read the next line, it says the factor of proportionality is 30% per hour. So that means we have an equation to get us started. And it wants to know how many hours will the concentration be one-tenth. So before we can answer that, we have to be able to, to find an equation for concentration. So let's rearrange this. Yeah. Is it decreasing? Oh, yeah, it drops. Thank you. It does. It says it drops in, uh, so it is going to be a negative. Thank you. Um, so if I rearrange this, here's the equation that I'm going to integrate. And the reason we have to go right to integration is it wants to know a particular concentration, and this equation only gives me the rate of change in the concentration. So that's not good enough. So if I integrate this, I'm going to have, um, let's see here. Well, I can take that constant out front. That'll... So this will be negative 1 over 0 0.3. And that will be the natural log of Q equals T plus some constant. So I'm going to keep working through this. Um, it means I'll multiply both sides by a negative point oh, or 1 over 0.3. And if I multiply it by a constant, I still get a constant, so I can ignore that. So e to the negative 0.3t plus a constant is equal to q. And this is where I'll try to find out my equation where I can solve for the constant. So it says 30% decreases per hour. Now, there's no other information in here, but it's okay if we don't know the initial concentration. We can make up our own point. So one point you could use is, let's just say I started with 100%, okay, and I went for, oh, sorry, we already have the, um, we already have the constant, I don't need to do that, but we already have the um, constant of proportionality. So we need to figure out this initial amount here. So how many hours will the concentration be one-tenth of the original concentration? So the way I could rewrite this is I have C, whatever my initial concentration was, and now I want it to be one-tenth. I guess I can write it as C over 10. Okay. So how long does it take for that to happen? So. C will end up dividing out of both sides of this equation, and I'll have e to the negative 0.3t equals 1 over 10. And I'm going to use a logarithm to solve this. Natural log of 1 over 10 equals negative 0.3t. So that'll be natural log of 1 tenth divided by negative 0.3 is the time. Okay, so I get a time according to this of 7.67528 on and on. And uh, 
that's not exactly equal to 7 and 2 thirds, and Barron's doesn't even say, Barron's uses this answer, and then they tell you that that's approximately equal to 7 and 2 thirds. So they're right about it being approximate, but don't expect that kind of confusion if you do an actual AP exam. It would just be this answer here. They wouldn't round it like that, okay? But uh, 7 and 2 thirds corresponds with D in that case.